Hello. Good afternoon, or good morning, or good evening. It's afternoon here, and I am getting ready to draw some Russian-inspired buildings. These are inspired after the um, St. Basil Cathedral, because I love the onion domes on it. They are totally fantastic. Um, really, like, fantasy gorgeousness. So we're going to play on that today and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really quite easy and you can really get, I, when I started doing this, I really started getting into it and I'll walk you through all the steps um, and we're, you're going to make one too. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, um, let's change the direction of our paper. <laughs> I'm going, let's, I'm speaking to the royal way here. Alright, so I think it's a little bit easier like that because I'm thinking like that. <laughs> And what I want to do is start putting in um, a bunch of rectangles. So I'm going to put them in um, with, I'm not trying to copy, so I'm trying to make my own inspired ones. So I'm going to put in just a few rectangles. You can make them come up in front of each other. Um, you don't have to draw the bottom, so it's basically, you're drawing like a weird little table here. I'm going to do one big one back here. So I'm starting out with just a bunch of rectangular shapes or tables or whatever you want to think of them as. And then I'm going to just quickly throw down like a little back here and maybe even a little dome, a dome within a dome back here. I'm thinking about it as a whole picture already. So I've got my structures and I've got a little background back here. I know later I'm going to make it black of Starry Night. So um, we have that to start. That's step one. Um, and then you want to start putting in your beautiful onion domes. Um, they're beautiful not just because of the fun shapes that they are, but also the patterns on them are just fantastic. So I was really inspired by them. I hope you are too. Okay, so I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to, if you're making something symmetrical, if you it helps to have either like a guideline like that or to give yourself like a little dot so you know where that middle is going to be. And then I'm just going to play on this shape, this onion dome shape. And just start putting on the tops on top of these structures. I want to get them right. So I will flip it over halfway, but it's, I'm not using a ruler so it's not going to be perfect and I'm totally okay with that. I hope you are too. <laughs> this one will make a straight triangle. Um, let's do that this way. Again, make a little, if you're worried about making it symmetrical, just give it a little dot or something. You can totally let them overlap each other. Okay, so I have all my basic shapes in. So now what I want to do is start um, thinking about the background. I know I'm going to put stars back there, so I'm just going to quickly shade it. I'm going to give myself circles back there. So I don't go into them. <laughs> so I have some area for some stars. All right. Okay, so I like this very much. Um, I do see there's a little funkadelic thing going on over here where it's like swoosh this way. So I'm just going to make it match, hopefully. <laughs> and then I'm going to think about all the designs that I want on here. Um, I'm going to go with some pretty ones that I've been inspired by. I'm not going to really make my own for today, uh, just to show you guys. But it is... Oh, I love the way this turns out. So let's get rolling. So what I do is there's a few basic things. I'll put them on the bottom so you can see, but don't draw these on your drawing or you'll ruin it. Or, you know, you'll just have to cut it. But the basic designs are these. You have like a 
tri upside down triangle, you have little U's like this, these skinny U's, um, and you can also have sort of like that uh, water pattern where you do like scales like that. Those would be on the buildings. And on these guys, on your onion domes, uh, the patterns for these look like, um, like a, almost like a star, like that. There's ones where you're kind of going in, like a curve, like that. Um, there's one where you do the same thing and you just kind of add um, another line that way. And then there's some that just look like ice cream swirls. <laughs> I think that's probably why I like them. So I'm going to start filling all that part, those parts out now. have all that stuff in now you get to do the color now the color of these I do recommend looking up the color for these because they're amazing they're so beautiful and you should see them before you actually start the color part of this I'm gonna do a what my children tell me to do snap but I'm not great at oh that was a pretty good snap I'm gonna snap and then the color will appear because I don't think you need to watch that um some people love it but we're gonna do the snap thing so color now and that's it. Um, I really enjoyed this one a lot. I really got into it. I spent a long time on this one. Um, and it kind of reminds me of Maury's Sendak, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I hope you enjoy this. It's a lot of fun for me. And remember, just keep drawing.